you ready for a tech slash EDC bag video? Let's talk about this. This bag here is one of several tech slash EDC backpacks I have. I kind of rotate them in and out on occasion. I have a bit of a, an addiction when it comes to backpacks and coolers, which will be the topic of another video at some point. But this bag here I got at Costco several years ago. It's an OGO brand. OGO, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. I see a lot of tech slash EDC sort of videos on YouTube. And I thought, well, maybe my system might help some other people. So like I said, OGO brand. Never really heard of this brand before myself personally, but that's what it is. So far, from what I can tell, it's a very sturdy backpack. I've had it for at least a couple years, probably three now. So let's start on the outside first. It's got pockets on each side. This side, I always keep an umbrella in. Just a small Adidas brand umbrella. 10 bucks at Sam's does what it needs to do. Unless it's a monsoon. In that case, any umbrella is not gonna help. So, front pocket here, got this little zipper here. This pocket, it's one of the easiest to get to. I usually keep some medicines, some ibuprofen. Uh, there's an air tag in here. Um, just stuff easy to get to in case I need that. It does have some loops on the front here, so if you needed to hang anything off the front of the bag, it's not exactly molly webbing, but it's similar. You could put a carabiner on there, and sometimes I do run a carabiner on it if I know I'm gonna be hanging up the bag, which brings me to a point. It has a metal strap up here. Very handy. It comes in great having this. It's solid. The handle's not gonna collapse on you. You can pick it up. With what I've got in here, this bag is heavy. So onto the front actual zipper pocket here, I keep several power cords, um, USB-C to C, USB-A to C, uh, lightning, lightning cables in here for an iPhone. I also keep a power bank in here. I've got several of these, not this particular one, but several power banks. This is by Anchor, and it is the PowerCore 3 Elite, 26,000 milliamps. It'll provide 87 watts of power delivery. So more than enough power to supply and recharge what I've got in here on the inside. I've also got the wall charger to recharge that and to recharge anything else I might need to. Also down here, small USB. The only thing on here is Tails OS, a live version of Linux. If you know anything about computers, you might know what that could be used for, for security purposes. Um, the other exterior pouch here, uh, when I got this back, this was advertised as kind of a sunglass case. It is a bit of a hard shell when I keep in here. AirPods Pro and AirPods 2. Nothing special, nothing magic. So that's what lives in there. On to this other compartment. I have DJI Osmo Action. I carry this with me in case I want to film something, in case I'm out and about, I want to do you know a vlog, see something interesting to film. It's lightweight, it's got a good battery life, good wind deflection on it. And it does a good video. So I always keep that with me. I also have another Manfrotto small tripod. This one holds the phone. What I mainly use this for is if I'm out to lunch occasionally, whether I go grab something or just take my lunch from the office, want to get out, I can set this up on the dash of my car or truck, watch YouTube. An extra mask because well, you know. 
and we got a flashlight, a light, a uh, warrior, or no, this is this is an M1X striker. It's got the little crenulated bezel there. Very bright flashlight. So I have that. I also have another flashlight in here. We'll get to that. I keep a highlighter, a pen, some tissues, because allergy season in Tennessee is 24-7, 365. So you want to have some tissues around. And also moleskin notebook just in case any uh, ideas for videos pop up or you know, leaving, need to leave a note for someone, whatever. Got the notebook in there. And a little polishing cloth for the sunglasses. And in the main compartment, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. In this compartment, first, you see the uh, tool pouch that lives in this backpack. It's a popular thing to say these days. But this, yes, this tool pouch does live in this backpack. I'm not sure what brand it is. Um, it is built where I could attach it to the outside here. We'll go over this in a separate video in the future point. But basically, Leatherman, uh, some pliers, flashlight, some other things in here that I need in an IT person's day-to-day -day life. So, this pouch here holds my 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the keyboard. Good stuff. This is the 128 gig model. I use this every single day. Now on the front here, I keep some other cables, USB-C to C, uh, another pen, Apple Pencil for the iPad, one terabyte Lassie Porsche design, external hard drive, and of course, Apple polishing cloth. What Apple geek would be without one of those. And because uh, what you'll see later on, we're still living the dongle life. USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, to some other stuff. And last but not least in here, Samsung T7 portable SSD. This is not the touch model. I didn't really figure I would need that. What I keep on here is not that sensitive. Basically, it's just used for when I'm doing video projects from the iMac to my MacBook. I edit off of this so I can switch back and forth. The speeds are sufficient enough to provide me uh, allowances to do that. It works good. Also in here, the work laptop, it's an HP Windows 10. This is not mine per se, it's my work laptop, but I do not own it. The good people at my work do. It's the only Windows machine I currently have. Well, it's the only working Windows machine I have. I do have a couple other Windows laptops, but they are packed away in storage and one of them is currently running Linux. So we'll just set this over here for the moment. My laptop, the 13 inch MacBook Pro M1, two USB-C ports over here, one headphone jack. When I first got this, I thought it might be lacking on ports, but so far it's never been an issue for me. And I have come to Enjoy the touch bar on this. Some people hate it, some people like it. I'm trying not to get too attached to it, but I'll probably have this computer for a while. So that's all I have in this. I also carry this. It's important to stay hydrated. Hydration is key. It's an Arctic tumbler, 32 ounce, I believe, 30, whatever. Uh, keeps water cold all day long. That's it. Stay tuned for more. We'll be doing a, a full video on this. And also an update on this one. I've had this for a while. Done a video on this many, many years ago. Uh, this one is newer. Similar tools, but different 
launch these of use for those two items. So stay tuned for more. Knowing me and my personality, this is not the last iteration of this tech bag or really any tech slash EDC bag that you're gonna see. Thanks for watching.